Hello YouTube. I have to admit, I really like WA Productions update to InstaComposer 2. Finally, having quite a lot of scales to choose from is really great, as well as many other quality of life updates. Recently, I combined an InstaComposer beat with Scalar 2 and its multi voice output. And that made me think. Can I get InstaComposer 2 and InstaComposer 2 to work together? If you don't know what Instacord is or how it works, I made a video about this tool a few months back. But in a nutshell, Instacord fills the void whenever you want to have something more authentic than just guitar strumming emulation. When you combine the patterns and picks from Instacord, it often sounds like a real guitar wizard is at work. But it is just a genius MIDI tool. Anyway, you'd think that tools from the same programmer, the same manufacturer, the same series called Insta would work together out of the box, right? You would think that, but you would be really wrong. Both tools are really good at exporting MIDI, but the other way around, mm -mm, they don't comply at all. There are no import options at all. That means if you want those two Insta tools to work together, you have to put some work into it. This video is a how-to with as much work avoidance as possible. Okay, best we start with having both InstaComposer and InstaCode plugin windows open. As you can see, I can't just drag and drop InstaComposer's chord progression into InstaCode. It's not possible. We have to input every single chord of the progression by hand. Through my work with Scalar, I know that we are talking about the D sharp Dorian scale. It's not necessary to input it, but after that you see that the matching chords of the scale are marked in green. Next, we adjust the voicing to a guitar voicing, so the chords will be played like on a guitar. Instacord will not warn you if you are about to screw up. And there is no undo function. That can be really brutal. So save whenever you had to do something tedious before. It keeps you happy. Though you can choose patterns and picks from the presets, I like to generate them myself with the AI generator. As you can see, Instacode needs you to do two things at the same time. You need to trigger a chord and you have to choose how it is played. We do this with key switches. The lower keyboard always shows what keys you are playing as the input and the upper keyboard shows the result. This simple pattern played over the whole progression sounds quite nice already, but we can do better. Let's generate another pattern.
As you can see, we can combine both patterns and play them at the same time. And the magic happens. And we create another pattern. And yes, we can play all three patterns at the same time. Or you just can play them in any combination that sounds cool to you. Don't forget to save your new patterns. Everything we did until this moment is just preparation. We have our progression and we have patterns how this progression should be played. Now we have to find a way how to sync InstaComposer and InstaCord to play them together. And though we don't use InstaComposer's progression as a progression, we can use it as a set of triggers to play InstaCord. And that syncs both tools as well. We just use the notes of the chords as triggers for the played chords in InstaCord and the played patterns. Great. Let's just play everything together.
This is really fun. Try it out and let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you very much for buying me a coffee. Bye bye.